What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as Sweden. So to bring up, to, so to remind you guys where we, were, where we left off last time, we have landed our forces in England and we are attacking the city of London. And there's lots of really cool units to fight. We've got the Lifeguards, the 15th, uh, the King's Hussars, British Dragoons, we've got some Light Dragoons, a whole bunch of artillery. First Foot Guards, the Bill Browns, the First Foot Royal Scots Fusiliers, some veteran regiments of the line, the 42nd Regiment, 2nd Battalion, the Black Watch, the 88 Foot Connor Rangers, some Highland Foot units, the 71st uh, Glasgow Highland Foot, so we've got two, un two units of that, a Regiment of Foot, 52nd Light Foot, uh, the Oxfordshires, and we've also got a company of the 60th Royal American Rifles. In reserve, we're reinforcements of a light dragoon unit and a veteran regiment of foot. Safe to say, we significantly out outnumber them, and our green force is going to be leading the battle. So, let's try and attack. We do have a reinforcing army under Rune Almquist, but we are probably going to want to reinforce uh, the British Isles as quickly as possible. So, let's bring them to war. Morris Ashford and Barnaby Payne. But I think the Swedish infantry have proven their mettle many, many times in this campaign. So even though this army is fresh, I believe they are more than up to the task of destroying the British army. And once we've taken England, it will be on to Wales, Scotland and Ireland. So I want my 12s to get up onto the high ground. My sixes might actually go up with my front line. Let's make a Delta Brigade on the right. Let's make a Finska Ineldat in plus... Oh, I've gone heavy with my Grenadiers in this unit. That's not bad, I'm attacking England. So let's put a... Svenska Guard and a... well don't put the light foot unit on there yet. Put them on the flanks. We've got enemy cavalry to watch out for but we don't have any vulnerable um, skirmishers which is nice. We've also got copious amounts of cavalry ourselves. So let's form up. Good. General in the centre. Feigning a rout by sacrificing a unit is a sure Trouble is, though, in this in this style of gameplay, uh, it's far too easy to feign your route and then actually route. So they might be in the trees, so you'll march up to the edge of said trees. Get my light infantry to continue to push up, get my cavalry out onto the right, get my twelves up onto this piece of high ground. I mean here we can see the 7th Light Foot and a couple of other units. 21st Regiment, the 7th, the 5th Horse Guards. But we must be aware. Let's put a unit of Light Cavalry up on the flank. Get my Horse Guards wide of the, tr of the trees because the enemy may be hiding. Fourteenth foot guards are going to be standing ready near the guns, who are making actually quite rapid progress. I want to run both units of infantry right next to the gun. A couple more units have exposed themselves. The artillery is stacked one on top of the other. Hello. The enemy have exposed themselves. It's another regiment we've got eyes on. I mean, the main folk, the main uh, strength is definitely in the centre. So we are naturally going to be unlimbering. unlimbering and then putting a barrage into the 
putting a barrage into those forces ahead of us. There's the Royal American Rifles. They're standing ready. No, can't barrage. We can't barrage canister shot at that range. But I do like... Okay, let's push my army into the woods. Keep my heavy cavalry back. My 12s on the hill could unlimber. And then we cavalry charge. Not great hits. Howitzer unlimber. My 12s engage. My light horse engage the Royal American Rifles. We've got the lifeguards to the rear. Blast to the light foot at close range. They threaten our flank, so you men form up, you men form square. The 5th Horse Guards, you men charge in the 24th Regiment. My light cavalry have shredded the riflemen. Unit foot, we've got the horse guards co covered. Get both my cavalry to commit into their cavalry. My horse guards go for the king's hussars. To be honest, they all go for the king's hussars. Ooh, lucky. Treat my cavalry on the left. Stay, stay steady. Get Mr. Breck out on the right flank. Keep attacking the fifth. Get my right flank to advance. Get my gunners to fall back. Get my foot guards to fall into the 80th regiment. New men form square. My gunners, if they pursue my gunners, they can run for the safety of this square. Give a little toot on your horn. There we go, that's steady the lines. Gunners, pick up your guns. Ooh, okay, okay, careful the light horse, but go in against the no, you don't. Go in against the light horse. Those lifeguards that are advancing through the woods. Hey, they are a trying. They are, do want to attack. Sit grenadiers form a square. Get my skirmishes onto the high ground. Reform the line, form go wide. So the enemy light horse might cause the retreat of my light horse. Let's withdraw Our them. Running, Doesn't matter. My heavy cavalry attacking their light cavalry. Which should go our way, but there's every possibility that their experience may carry the day. The lifeguards are routing. Get my gunners to switch to canister shot and go back after the veterans. How it's as folks fire on the right flank. Yeah, my cavalry might lose actually to the veteran 20th Regiment Light Horse. They are going to work. Yeah, they're going to kill me. They're going to kill my guys. That's a bummer. Oh well. 
stay steady. We've got lifeguards. They're still broken in the trees, but they're not. Right, you men engage the first regiment of foot. You men advance into the flank. You men advance against the first foot guard. Where's my 12s back here? Engage the main. Make sure you're barraging as well. We want to blow through their centre. Some in, uh, reinforcements coming in there. You men shore up defences on the left flank. Make sure you're barraging. Veteran regiment of foot. They're no slouch. My heavy cavalry is still alive, so let's actually try to get them back. Engage the fifth. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. My heavy cavalry trying to trying to provide a bit of support. My count my general's over here on the right flank. Too late to save that light cavalry unit. First regiment of foot are routed. My gunners get back to re-engaging the fifth. Their light horse is, is exhausted as well, so they can't chase after me. New men form square. Should draw in their lifeguards, and it has. My general over to the centre. The light foot. Get my heavy, get my grenadiers to charge the light foot. Pouring fire into the Highlanders. Okay, my grenad my grenadiers covered. Engage the first foot guards. That's the Black Watch. Hey, oh, look at how close they were to routing. You men go wide, my 12s. Pound the centre. So we've got the... This flank is covered, so you guys advance... So, you guys advance like so. Reinforcements are coming in. And the Mr. Almquist. So, let's get him to him, get Mr. Almquist to support the left flank. You men charge the 21st Regiment on the flank. You men charge right in. They've both routed the both of them. You men advance. You guys advance like so. Ah, oh, they want to charge, but they're too slow. It's the fourth light foot in the woods. I'm trying to engage my cavalry, but they're, they're a bit too far away. So the 81st, pivot and engage the 7th at point blank range. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Ah, he's fine. Excellent. So the enemy cavalry have hit the light infantry in square so they can advance up and secure the flank. So the end is going to is nigh for the seventh regiment. Got so many. Ah, that is a complete cluster of a set of instructions there. Let 
I'm not even entirely sure where some of these units are coming from. Fifth, so you advance my grenadiers into the centre. You might advance to try and take out the seventh. You might advance to knock out the twenty-fourth. Another veteran regiment of foots coming in. Looking lovely. How it says Bombard the fifth. They're hiding in the woods. Who's that? General Staff. Raw Scots have come back. Even ceasefire. Get my artillery to engage the 15th regiment. Oh, the cavalry's coming back. 20th light horse. Drop into square. Foot guards. Leave guard Jaeger engaging the 5th. Advance up and secure the woods ourselves. So you two units advance up into the veterans. Light infantry push up into the flank. Rune push up to help them out. If they start to struggle with their conscience. First Royal Scots are exhausted, they should, but, but they should go down pretty quick. In that case, the 5th are actually advancing towards us through the woods. Meanwhile, in the distance... The fifth. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. No! Damn it! Oh, I still got it. Good. That's pretty neat. I like that. That's a shot. So, my general, advance up. Let's get my cavalry to flank the first foot guards. 15th have routed. 78th push up and flank the 5th. Newman advance towards the enemy guns. Newman push up to flank the 21st regiment, Highland, the 21st Highland regiment, who look rather nice. because they are exhausted. Okay, cavalry. Hit the first regiment from both flanks. Okay, you guys don't even charge. Twenty-fourth regiment of foot are wavering, so just pre-charge my heavy cavalry in. My 25th Horse Guards, Curassier, and then attack the 24th. There we go, my Light Cavalry gains an, an experienced chevron from that engagement. If I can knock out the first foot guard, so we can gobble up the 21st and begin to flank the enemy guns. The unit has been broken. So they're fighting. They're, the rear area is now vulnerable. Because Swedish troops have advanced. My 12s begin to just attack the guns. Mm, 
hit nearby. Okay, let's push. You guys up. You guys up. You guys up. There you go the fifth. So now the enemy centre is vulnerable. The horse guards are attacking. Actually, they might not be enough. Let's get the 81st regiment and pivot. Get the 87th get the 81st regiment to pivot, get both these units to advance up to close range. Ah, the light, 19th light horse. Now oh, this is a reinforcing unit. They're going to counter charge my dragoons. Our men are running, sir. Yep, that's enough. Keep my general near my cavalry, my infantry. Cease fire on my 12s, because they've just shot. Into the rear. My light infantry are tired, but they are exhausted. There we go. Just managed to get him into square first. Before the enemy got it within range. Pivot some of these units around. Let's take one of these units. Bayonet charge the 1st Regiment, Royal, 1st Regiment Horse Artillery, Royal Horse Artillery. Light Infantry charge the... Okay, good. You don't have to charge the 1st Foot Guards. They broke anyway. So the enemy cavalry will break. Yep. As did the Regiment of Foot. Bayonet charge. Push the Scots off. Send them packing. My general's right here. He's going to give you a rousing blast on the horn. As we charge the gunners. Which are the last, last unit Glorious actually in the mix. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> Good job, artillery unit overshot. Excellent, I believe. Oh, the general staff. Uh, very well. Let's speed up time with my light cavalry heading over towards them walking. Although they are very tired, my light cavalry will probably do okay against them. Oh, I say that immediately. This can be part of the problem with the Napoleon Total War. The enemy don't know when they're beat. There goes the enemy general staff. See if you can kill their commander. 16th foot guards are still chasing down one of their horse artillery regiments. All I am going to do is make you guys bayonet charge the veterans because I've got Mr. I've got Mr. Almquist nearby. That's right, light infantry up front. I'm inspiring my men. go. Give him an old toot on the horn. Charge down that musket line. My light infantry might well break them alone and they have. A regiment of veteran line infantry defeated by green light infantry. The scoundrels. Nice. So that's London secured. No units lost. 
which is excellent. So let's see how much trouble we're in. We're going to occupy, naturally. Let's repair these buildings. Let's upgrade the Great Museum. Let's build this. Let's upgrade or build the fortifications. Elgar Galatan. 33rd foot. <gasps> Sharp. I'm going to kill him. Jamie Egan. Cardiff is fully garrisoned. There's two more full stacks to the north. Right. Mr. Backstrom, get here rapidly. We need more firepower. You, Rune, secure this bridge here. You push that ship out of the Chatham docks. Let's build a sloop. Dockyard, build a sloop. Just start to shove the Royal Navy out of their little hidey holes. Okay. So you guys are soon to be ready to jump onto this region here. But we do have an army coming in from the north. Well, uh, Travis, was it you? Was it you? You're the one that I've directed to go down to help the Italians. Very well. Nut Skovhus. Okay, you're going to be finished recruiting soon. Finvid Samuelson. Okay, you're fully replenished. You guys are going to sh shift over to help out. Good. Okay. So we've got Oxford. Which you can't do anything with because they've got a, a unit in there. 20th Light Horse. Okay. Well, let's replenish. Our rate of replenishment is rather low. So I do not want to take too long in uh, getting Mr. Backstrom up to the front. Prestrians are still sparring with... Oh, Prestrians and Austrians are at each other's throats. Good. That means... Ooh, okay, so they've fallen back. Ooh, there's a big concentration of troops near Wales then. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Got to go in and lance that boil. So the Prussians are now at war with the Austrians, which is great, because they might... To be honest, this... <laughs> Ooh, the Prussians just took some territory. To be honest, this, I'm, I'm tempted to just kick it off. Because why not? <laughs> um, Russia's fighting Austrians. Pr Russia, Austria, and Prussia are all at war. So who would I want to fight first? And that answer is definitely the Prussians. So you can push against Innsbruck, Munich, Schwerin. We can push and secure some of these main territories very well. You are being redirected. These units can stay in reserve, ready for a fight here. But I think it's Prussia I want to fight first, because Prussia is the one that's currently in a bit more trouble. Because I can jump and take a number of territories quite quickly. I can push and take Schwerin, push a couple of these units off of these bridges and before you know it we're in we're on to Berlin but first actually let's get a sloop over to Portsmouth cease, cease this recruitment get Mr. Backstrom embarked Swapsies, you men get embarked and, and land. I think you've got to try and attack units like this that are currently not loitering, but they're just exposed. She might not have any agents over here. There's none nearby. You get your Scandinavian sloop recruited. That's a, that's a port, port defence battery. So, what well, the trouble is, where's Wellesley? Timothy Barford could be in Cardiff, Brerisford. I've got to attack units like Jamie Egan while he is exposed. 
Now uh, they withdrew. I could attack, but that would get us within range of uh, the Cardiff garrison. So I want Mr. Backstrom up here for that. To be honest, I want more troops. Um, don't bother upgrading anything, because it's all going to get raided anyway. But what might be about to happen? Hello. Even though I'm not allied with um, Austria, uh, it's in my interest to attack Prussia. Cancel my trade agreement. We're very friendly still. Cancel my alliance. Ah, oh, now we are unfriendly. This is it, fellas. Declare war. Let's see if Russia joins us or them. Russia joins us. Push on to Innsbruck. You meant push on to Munich. Maintain siege. Stuttgart. Push on towards potentially just, just go for a run to Prague. Because if you can secure Innsbruck pretty quickly, because they've got no almost no garrison, you can secure Munich quite quickly. De Detlof Detlof Langre can attack Schwerin. Christian Falke. Do a bit of a Henrik order guard. Get up towards Schwerin. This is the frustration. These ran these like little loan units here. Saxon, Saxon, Chevrolet. I will fight them at some. But you guys, you don't want to go advance too far. Just go there. We'll do. Let's maybe move. Mr. Von Doblin and his garrison force up to Hanover. <laughs> Silly Prussia. Okay. So we, it's annoying we haven't got Innsbruck, but there we are. Um, I think that's more beneficial to do. So let's take Mr. Von Sedink and attack the garrison here. To be honest, I could try and demand surrender. I mean, I say that, I forgot that it does let them out. Push on and attack the force that left the city, though. I might just auto it, to be honest. So the new men can push up to that bridge. They're not going to push out on a raid. That's Munich secured. Repair the military academy. Demand surrender at Schwerin. What? What? Oh. Do we let them have safe passage to their own land, I suppose? I mean, where's he going? <laughs> Schwerin is taken. You may not want to push up to secure Brandenburg. You guys should probably go south here. If you attack... <sighs> To be honest, I don't want to, eh, should just attack one. I don't want to really attack one unit because it's so slow. But I don't want to auto-resolve because it will take... Considering we don't replenish unless we're in friendly territory. So, may as well fight it quickly. Fight it quickly and get it over and done with. Especially as it's only... Actually, to be honest, I might even just <laughs> be able to guard the bridge. So, yeah, I only really got to do something like this. Well, my 12s can go a bit further back. Howitzer's up front. Let my artillery open up and then just all all I want to do is just pretty much put my infantry enemy general killed Mr. Froman all I want to do is get my infantry in position so I could uh, just dump them into square and then once they retreat that'll be the end of that it looks like my well my artillery's happy to just keep shooting at them 
Don't want to deploy them into square until the very last second. Let's turn the militia fire wheel off. Look at this, look at this brave soul. So imagine if you're a f Swedish soldier. They're all over there. And then there's just one guy on the bridge. Everyone just barrows, do as much damage as possible. I don't think they're going to do... Okay, they're going to cross. There we go. Form a square. The first wave that across the bridge have been shot off their horses very dramatically. Everyone's frantically reloading. such a drama to destroy one cavalry in it. I mean, I shouldn't really wait until the bulk of their unit crosses the bridge, because it's not really... There's no point in watching each individual cavalryman <laughs> fall, but it looks like the bulk of the unit isn't going to actually cross as one. Well, there we go. At least it kept my men alive. That's the important thing. I lost three men, and the unit was destroyed. And I've secured that bridge to the south, of Berlin. Awesome. Um, okay. I mean, I'm going to upgrade the steam dry dock just to get rid of the signal. Just to get rid of the icon, I should say. Uh, continue the reinforcement. Because one army... Actually, was that, actually, was that you? Yeah, you were recruiting a bunch of other troops, weren't you? Yes, too much regular infantry here. If you're recruiting, yeah, four units. Soon you will be able... Well, once, but to be honest, if I keep both these armies together, we can land them in Konigsberg. One can occupy Konigsberg and one can drive west. Ideally... Well, Mr. Langre... Advance to the bridge. They're going to complain for a turn. Uh, you guys can secure the bridge. You guys can secure the town. But I want to secure someone to secure the bridge to see if they try and cross. Okay. Uh, apart from that, though. You guys get back. Okay, let's hit in turn. There we go, so now the, the kind of big war begins. If I can gobble up a bunch of Prussian territory, then I can declare on the Austrians, gobble them up. Ooh, is that Mr. Wellesley? I think it might be Mr. Wellesley. I mean, the Battle of Berlin is not going to be easy. Ooh, just just the one army is trying to cross. Interesting. I was wondering if it might bring in some reinforcements. But let's do it. Commandus Prussia. Uh, fighting over the boundaries of territories like this can be a bit tricky because actually you're you're in their uh, you're in your home territory, and when you win, you push them back to their home territory. But yeah, we know we can cover the a bridge, a crossing quite conclusively with not super amounts of men. Although I might give them okay, some militia behind cover like that might not be a bad idea. And that these guys can deploy out on the flanks and that'll be okay. We can give them one howitzer on this flank, but the bulk of the troops Ooh, we don't actually get a lot of advance notice here. This hill isn't too bad. 
keep the bolt. Oh, we've got loads of good cavalry here. Well, my 12s might actually just stay on this slope and just fire at whoever you like. Okay, so... You men get back up there as a reserve. Oh, I've mi I didn't deploy a howitzer unit, did I? Get a foot Jaeger over here. The AI, six pounder, six pounder. Yeah, they're engaging my cavalry though, which isn't. It's not a bad idea for them, but it's not what I want them to do. The howitzers are opening fire on whomever they like. The main thing is to make sure we set up our killing zone across the ford. Prussian Grenadiers are oh, true, actually that's true, I haven't actually looked at anything yet. Prussian Grenadiers look pretty good, more Prussian Grenadiers. Militia, Confederation de Reine La Vere. Guard, Jaeger, Compagnie. It's got artillery. Pioneers. Horse, 16th Horse Guards. Prussian Dragoons. Yeah, they look okay. Get my foot Jaeger into the square. Because I did wonder if that was going to happen. But yeah, get my foot Jaegers inside. Guard mode on. Fire it will off. I do want a howitzer unit over here. On the left, my 12s are doing... Are they doing... Are they even doing okay? The Jaeger are going to do some damage to us before the lines meet, but not a huge amount. Horse guards are going to struggle to cross the uh, the open ground. Well, the, not the open ground, the closed ground. Hmm. Jaegers, Jaegers. Well, once their once their main main infantry force starts to try cross. Okay, that, that's how it's unit that is currently firing. Try and shoot their gun, their um... Try and shoot their... <laughs> cavalry, or their artillery, because they doesn't seem to be doing much of anything else. Push up. Oh, that's not a bad initial volley. Yeah, they might not be able to respond to our sheer volume.
The light foot. Well, it's, it's tempting. What if we can chew up the light foot to take this force and advance it over the bridge? How it says I'm limbered. Just get my general over to secure the bridge. Put some volleys in. Don't worry, soon your troops will advance in front of your guard, Jaeger, and you will become incredibly depressed. More horse guards are coming in. First lancers are trying to cross. But they're going to come into some configuration issues. Okay, so... How it's a... Uh, attack ground. What I want to see is you, these, these howitzers going to... I want them to attack ground at the ford. Which it looks like that's what they're going to do. Oh, they've fired already. So the first lance is starting to see a few losses. <laughs> they're on their way. Yeah, but they're, they're, they've got men falling from... I mean, theory... No, there's not enough gradient here to put another unit of troops behind them, firing over their heads. There we go. How it's exploding over their heads. Another horse guard unit coming in, crossing the bridge. Realistically, I should probably keep some cavalry near the, the more exposed bridge of the lot. But they're going to start trying to cross. The skirmishers are going to start wavering though because they've had, they've had to push up far too close. Oh, good shot. Yeah, the cavalry have routed. The lancers have been... Well, they've just been in the thick of it in the crossfire. Twelve pound howitzer. I mean, I want you to attack the artillery, but you don't seem to be doing anything. They've not... Missed almost everything, so just focus on the... Focus on the enemy cavalry. This is a big target. As the brave Prussians continue to try cross. Artillery's pounding the houses. Still trying. They do, they do want to cross. Guard Jaeger Company. So this howitzer unit needs to barrage. Okay, and get some men to fire at the troops crossing the bridge. This is the main effort. Like they're encouraged because their flanks are secure. More artillery. I mean, it's very bold of them to advance into blocky formations. Because from my infantry perspective... <laughs> it's quite a good target. Good artillery fire. <laughs> yeah. Stoically walking across the bridge. Is 
inspire the enemy, even though they are close. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. I wonder if they're just going to try and bayonet charge me. Get the lifeguard up behind them. See if you can cause a few units to break to buy a bit of breathing space. To be honest, the, the most of the force that's trying to cross looks very low. Inspire my men! try bit of a massed bayonet charge to try and break the Prussian strength we can turn back the initial column our men are running for I expect they did they were very pe they were not in good condition. Sixty-sixth Regiment of Foot, get in there. You managed to route a good portion of the head of the column. First foot guards are still here. Oh, they're going to charge. Kind of not really the direction I'd want them to form square. Be honest, that's a hell of a route. Advance up the cavalry, get ready to free up some space on the left flank. Where's my general? There he is. Charge across the river. Turn this into a route. How it's a ceasefire. The other bridge is doing just fine. But there we go, there's one Prussian unit that's currently holding. 12 pounders are doing a good job. Push on into the musketeers, the fusiliers. Blast another toot. Cavalry's coming back into the mix. That's their, that's their general's unit. Oh no, their general's unit's over. Oh, the lancers are there. Yeah, the bridge is almost won. Delta is storming across, engaging the Prussians in hand-to-hand -hand musket fire, musket combat. Delta are doing okay. Is that their commander's unit? Okay, it looks like. Okay, the men, they've recovered. So let's take a cadre. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Yeah, I was, thought that might happen. You might have to... Okay, good. Actually, you guys can pull back then. Artillery fire. Form square to allow my other units to recover. Okay, 
actually you men go there you men go there foot yeah go there okay the enemy's recovered get the 12 foot guard back behind the general how goes the other flank so that's time for the fifth grenadiers to get shot to pieces just by just we're just overwhelming firepower Okay, you men get back to attacking the center lifeguard get behind the wall 12 pounder attack ground Now you men can fire at will. You men cease fire. Pour more fire into the Prussians. <laughs> They've gone back to wavering again. Yeah, you guys might come back. If you guys can knock out the 5th Grenadier Regiment, I will furnish you with the 18th Light Horse to cross the bridge. I mean, they're exhausted, so you should be able to do break them fairly quick. The head of the column has been beaten back once more. The men of fatigue, sir, I must rest away. Hey, they came back. Very well. You men form up. Cease fire. My foot Jaeger and my skirmishes. Little drummer boy. Let's see if he makes it. <laughs> Look at him go. He's just no, he's just not interested. Oh no, he's still he's on his ah. Oh, watch out! It's the Fife Master. He's doing okay. So much death. And soon we can go we can go in and sweep out all these gun teams as well. More casualties. So many dead. This is a very valuable position to hold. if you were in one of these houses sat on a roof oh that's a that's a cool looking scene come on many many fallen Prussians there and their cavalry still is strong excellent Cross over the bridge. And get some cavalry over there too. I think the bulk of the troops on the left are... They're just done. So let my men engage until they run out of... Until they leave their range. Then we shall... Well, just allow my men to recover because they're currently very tired and exhausted fair play 67th you came back the 12s engage the lancers okay, let's leave the cavalry behind for now actually and it's probably speed up time because fundamentally they they are not going to push forward for another attack. They have 
fired their shot and they have <laughs> and that's the end of that although march my troops to create some space for the horse guards to cross the river So we make, make space for the cavalry, storm across, kill the general. Could chase down some of these guys, but I think their destruction is going to be quite conclusive anyway. We you men form up against the infantry, really. It's the cavalry they want to come over here and attack the guns. The 12th Regiment of Horse. Storm over. Ooh, losing cavalrymen. Look at that. From a Prussian route. The Swedish cavalry are deployed. You men go after the 16th. You men go after the 9th. The enemy general, quote unquote, is killed, commander of the Lancers. As the cavalry runs in at a gallop to bring death to the enemy guns. Oh no, spikes! It is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Still spikes about. But still, there goes the 16th Regiment. Gonna lose a lot, lose a chunk of cavalry, but I think if they straight line it, they'll be okay. You men just pick a grenadier regiment to bully. Okay, and the new men smash into the ninth. You may lose a handful to this mine when it detonates, but I think that will be a. Oh, there we go. They've both. They've all routed, except for the seventh. And that's the general's unit that's returned. Actually, you guys are better off going for the 9th. Oh no, if, if the mine does detonate, I'd rather it kill light cavalry than horse guards. The enemy general is has been killed once more. Just get, just get everyone to get the... They're charging the spikes from the the, reason, the appropriate direction. They shouldn't lose that many to spikes. And to be honest, the enemy should... Ooh. That was going to go off as well at some point. <laughs> Our men are running, sir. Understandable, but the battle is won. So just keep running forwards. There we go. Huzzah! Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. So let's see how much damage we've done to them. Oh, that army is almost completely destroyed. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Mr. Backstrom's long lost brother. God help Maureen. But looking at time, we're definitely going to do this in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the destruction of yet another Prussian army. Cheers, everyone.